with those three pieces finished here, it kind of just leaves us now with the other four. These are a little more complicated because they have accessories on them. So I'm just going to start with the single window here. This has multiple origin points on it, I can see here, but I think that's just the glass and the way the window opens up, I think that's kind of um, what's causing that. But it's really just the, the brickwork area that I'm focusing on here. So for that, I'm just going to drag this to the world center here and I'll zoom on it. And I'm thinking on the last video, I showed how to use the, the wall cutter to cut these objects up. With these, I think actually this is kind of simple. I don't need to complicate it by adding a cutter object onto this. Um, I think what I'm just going to do is cut this up manually because I know exactly how this needs to work. If I go into front view and I'll just turn on my cutter. I've actually added the, the cutter here. I'm just going to turn this on. And it's kind of hard to see it, but I know that I just need a division going along the center here. That's all I need. I don't need any of this other fancy stuff done. So this is actually easy to do by hand. One thing I also want to optimize is actually if I go into edit mode here and I'll press one to go into vert selection. I've got actually, let me just highlight this. I've got one, two, three, four, five. Well, I need to add cuts here. So let's just say five polygons there. I don't need that many. So small little optimizations here can kind of add up in the end. So what I want to do on this is optimize all these to meet in the corners so it'll only give me three it'll turn me from five polygons into three polygons but the more you duplicate this object throughout your scene the more that saving is going to add up so i'll quickly just do that i'm on i want to keep the corners here so i'm going to weld this fella up and this guy outwards to bind at that vert so what i can do here is just select one two and then the target and q and weld at last and I'll do that around the object, just to just to kind of cut down on, on the polys here. Here we go. Right, so now I will press Ctrl R and start adding cuts into the sides. So that's our top square. It's only three quads now. So with that, I can straight away just start cutting this and texturing it now. Well, it's cut up, so I'll just add the texture to it. I'll add the Atlas 01, and now I'll start cutting these into squares. I'll grab the back here as well. Okay, I'll just quickly go ahead and get these laid out properly. So I'll go into my UV editor. Select everything, just fill islands and come over here and pack. And I'll just check the orientation of it. Okay, so I need to rotate this fella here. Bottom as well. all right there now so I can take these and I'll just transform them over onto the brick texture perfect now I'll just do the sides here Select each of these. Highlight them all in my UV layout here and pack. Now I'll just take the top and the bottom ones and I need to rotate them 90 degrees and pack again. Okay, so now you can see this is upside down. I'll rotate him twice and both of these need to rotate. So now let's have a look. Where's our front? So that's the front of our window so we want the tile or the texture to wrap from this angle isn't going that way so we know that this part of the texture is that side so we want these to 
come in from the right here. So I will add my constraint to quick favorites and turn it on. And now I'll just move those islands over. And now in my transform, I'll just move them onto the brick. So there we can see a nice seamless tile running there. These ones will be on the opposite side, so they'll stay where they are. And I'll just transform them over. Okay, they're tiling as well. Now let's have a look at the, the front here. We can see that the tiles are facing the right way there. So they're coming from the top. And that edge is on the bottom here, so that means it'll repeat from the top. So that's in the right spot there. I just need to move it over. I'll take it. I'll just do the same down here with, with this fella. So I'll move him over to the left. Let me check the seams. Alright, that looks okay. Now, I don't think I need to worry about this bit, but do I want to do the inside here? Or will I just remove those faces outright? Because we have got this section of the window covering it. I'll just, yeah, I'm gonna actually just remove it. Just to, just keep everything as optimized as I can. I'll just grab these and remove. All right, and while I'm here, actually, I'll just grab these window panes and give them the glass texture. Now, I think on the next video, I'll be cutting up all these borders of the, the wooden frames and I'll be giving them a texture. I also want to find a, a kind of a concrete texture for, for the, the sill itself. But for the moment, I'll add this over. Now, I suppose I can take the larger window here. And he'll be exactly the same. So I'll go into my modeling. I just want to have a look at this. I'm going to optimize this too. We're just doing the exact same thing we've done. I'll just weld all these. Okay, here we go. Now I just need to add cuts into this. Now, there's our squares set up. I'll go into UV Editor. I'm actually just going to isolate this too. And I know I'm going to be removing these, so I'll get rid of them straight up. I'll give this my Texture Atlas material and I'm just going to start cutting this. Alright, I'll have a look here. Right, that's everything selected there. I'm just going to make sure it fills the island and go to my rotate because I'm going to be rotating some for sure. Here I will just go into Pack Master. I don't know why that changed over. I'm going to click Pack. Now we can have a look here. So this needs 180. So does this. This one here too. And this needs a 90 turn. No, 180. We'll do the same here. Right, let's unwrap here. Alright. 
So we'll grab all these faces and pack. And then we'll grab the top and the bottom. Turn them 90 degrees and pack again. So similar story to the last one. We just need to uh, fix the orientation of these. Now that's the front face. So I know that these guys are in the right spot there. This one here is on that side. So we want to run in on this side. The top is usually a problem. So yeah, they look like they're in the right. And here we need to turn this guy. They need to be on the top. Okay, so select all and go to transform and just move them to brick. Okay. That will do there. Now I'll just give the window textures. All right, I'll, I'll keep the windows kind of similar for the moment, just so I can get to them in the next video handy. So that's the basics of all of all what I'm doing there. Um, the door is the same, pretty much. I'll do him quickly. This window is actually identical. I wonder if that was just a clone that I never really worked on. Yeah, that looks identical to me, so I'm not gonna bother with that. I'm gonna remove him. Um, coming up soon enough, I'll be doing some more window varieties anyway. So I'll... Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll forget about that one for the moment. I'll just quickly do the door here. This one is a little different. I don't need this center line here. I'll remove that. And I'll weld the usual. Alright, so because of the shape of this polygon being a little funny, if I try to add a cut into this it'll come out a bit weird as well, but that doesn't matter. I can just make the cuts and now I'll select them and I'll press S, Z and 0 and that'll straighten them out. So actually this is for, the whole unit is 4 meters tall, so these actually should be at 2. But there we go let's have a look in front kind of hard to see the, the grid there in the back but it is in line yeah we're good there all right so let's uh let's get this one set up i'll add the uh, atlas and now i'll quickly cut him up these are a little different because of the fact the doors in the middle they're not full squares on the bottom half so for these two I'll quickly just get them sized up I'll fill island and pack now where's my model going it's missing here in the view range okay if that's okay. Um, need to pack these fellas here. Right, so that looks okay on that side. This one needs to be turned. So I'll rotate him 180. And now I think he needs to um, he needs to be on the far side here. So I'm gonna move him over. Yeah, we got a nice line up there. Alright, I'll do the back side here. This guy needs rotating, so turn him. Now I'll pack these. Now he needs rotating. I think it's the same story here. That looks okay. 
So I'll grab these and move them to brick. Nice, okay. So now just this side. Now I won't bother with the bottom or the inside here, the usual. Although the inside I do have to do because of that. There's a space here, so I'll, I'll actually just do that. I'll just select all the large side ones. And pack. You know, gotta turn him. Okay, so these need to be on the far side here. They're all right. For the top, I gotta rotate him 90 and pack them. Yeah, the tiles are put in the right way there, so I'll just move him over. I'll do the same with these. Now just these guys. Okay, he's a, because of his size and scale, he's actually, he's a little more complicated. So is this. So he, I gotta rotate him and pack him. Him I'll pack as well. And this is a full one, so I will pack him and use him then to judge the, the other ones. So I've got to rotate that twice. This one's okay. This thing is the wrong way, so I'll turn him. Now I will actually go isolate this. So you can see this a little better. And I might actually need to turn this back to the tiles for the moment. Just to give myself a better idea about the scale of this. So that's way too big as it is. So what I can do is I'll just scale, press S on, on my Where's that coming from actually? This one's gonna be hard to tell because it's it's not at the top or the bottom, so it's gonna be somewhere in the middle. And that red shade is very hard for me to tell if I'm doing this right. I don't actually know how to judge that. This should be easy enough. Because I know that this guy is there. So if I select both of them. And come in here. And now I just select the main piece here. I can just adjust him to the width of this one. So if I scale him up. I should be the right size there. So they're both the same width, so I know that because it's scaled uniformly, that's about right. It doesn't look right here though, so that must be because here in, that's the top of this. So we want this to start down from the bottom, so I just need to move this down. And it should line up there, there we go. Okay, same on this side here, I'll grab him, and so I've got to turn him first. I'll bring both of them in and in my editor I'm just going to select this guy and I'll move him into place and scale. Okay that should be the same. I'll just move him down. That looks about right. Uh, this I'm not too sure about. I, I I still don't know how I'm going to judge that, but I don't think it's going to be a big deal because we're going to have the frame of the door covering it anyway. I think I'll look at it later, and if if I feel it needs a little more attention, I, I can give it. But for the moment, I'm happy enough with all this. I'm just going to select the tile, and I will move them 
to the left. So there we go. This I forgot about. Okay. Now that looks pretty okay. I'll grab the bigger window here and check him out. Nice. Alright, so it's all coming together there as well. These are all pretty airtight looking as well, so there's no seams. Nice, okay, so that's what leaves us then. In the next video, I will start working on these, like the window frames and stuff, get them cut. I might need to um, add another texture or two onto one of my atlases, just to kind of something a little different than the, the wood that we're used to. Maybe I'll go with a painted wood for them. So I'll probably spend a bit of time and look and see if I can find any textures to add. I'm not going to bother showing you how the textures are added. That's all done in the... I can't remember which video it was, but it, it, it has its own title. It's texturing. So if you need to figure out how to do that, just look at that video and... Yeah, I suppose we meet up in the next one and give these, uh, these wooden elements a bit of love. So I'll catch you then.